for being with us this evening. Let's will you open up in prayer in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus this evening. And we thank you, Lord, for your presence and for your anointing in this place. We thank you, Lord God, that you are in the midst of us. And we seek in you, Lord, this evening, Lord God. And we want that you speak to each of our hearts in the name of Jesus, by your Spirit. And Father, we lift unto you, Lord God, Pastor Larry, and we thank you, Lord God, that you use him tonight as your vessel, as your instrument for each of us, Lord God. Speak through him, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Holy Spirit, in this place. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you praise. We give you a glory, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Well, you may have a seat in the presence of the Lord. God is so good. He is faithful, God. This morning, we have a wonderful, wonderful service this morning. God touched so many people this morning. Hallelujah. It's wonderful when we come to the house of the Lord and we experience His presence. Hallelujah. It's so wonderful to be in His presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I just uh, wanted to acknowledge Pastor Larry tonight. I want to say thank you, Pastor Larry, for being a faithful servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he is my partner in life, and I am so thankful to God that he blessed me as the woman of God with a wonderful, wonderful man. I am just thank God for Pastor Larry because he is a faithful and he is a um, tough, he is bold, but he is also known by his kindness. He has a good heart, loving heart, and he loves God, and this is what is important. God is working on each of us. Does any of you here, do you know that God is still working on you, right? But we have to have a heart to be willing and say, God, I want that you work on me, Lord. I want that you continue to change me. See, because we are new creation in Christ Jesus. Well, our minds needs to be renewed, right? Renew with the word of God. Scripture is teaching us that we should meditate on a word day and night continually to have the word of God and my prayer today for each of you that the word of God continue to be a lamp of your feet that you continue to be led by his spirit as the Lord leads you as he directs you he creates you he has the he has a plan for you. He has a destiny for you. He has the purpose for you and for each of us. And as we continually to be led by His Spirit, He will continue to direct us. And may some things you might not want to do and do not, do not want to correct. But again, our prayer is, Lord, not my will, but your will should be done. And sometimes people have challenges to know what is the will of God in my life. Well, the will of God we can see in the Word of God. The Word of God is the, like a map for our lives. This is why it's so important to read the Word. Now, when we read the Word of God, we also invite the Holy Spirit in our reading. Holy Spirit, show me. Give me understanding and open my spiritual eyes to see what the scripture says. Now, when you 
come to the services or those who is watching this services online you also watch with a notebook and pen and just don't take just lightly whatever preacher says you write down the scriptures and you meditate in the scriptures see what the God saying to you as the person because many of you sit here and those who is watching this broadcast when Pastor Larry ministering and speak to each of us each of us have our own message because we are individuals and we have our lives as the person as the people hallelujah I want to pray for you and your families. We still have some time before the end of the year that this year will be so close between you and the Lord that you will know Him, the Lord Jesus, like never been before. Heavenly Father, I lift them to you, Lord God, your people. Everyone who is here tonight and those who is watching this broadcast. I lift them to you, Lord God, your people. And I thank you, Lord God, that your people know you like never been before. I thank you, Lord God, that you touch your people and you visit your people. Even in the dreams and visions, Lord God. Speak to your people through your word. Speak to your people the way that you choose to speak to them. And I thank you, Father, that your people have ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has been saying. And Father, I thank you, Lord God, they are obedient. And Father, I speak blessings, favor, restoration, health, healing in your people's lives. Let the works of the enemy be canceled and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done. Let your plan be done in your people's lives. And Father, that you receive all the praise. You receive all the glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything that we do in our lives should bring glory to the Lord. It's like you worship Him. You do and serving to, to Him. Everything would you do. Maybe you give someone a ride. Maybe you buy someone a grocery. Maybe you support and encourage someone with the words. Everything should bring the glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Our lives, our actions, our speech, everything that would we do in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, Pastor Larry is here. He's going to minister to us in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm sorry. 
I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just turning you down. That's all you. Amen. And so uh, we believe that God is going to speak to us today. We believe that God wants to bring healing in our hearts today, in our lives today, because we are his people and the sheep of his pastors. Yes. And the healing is the children's bread. Amen. Amen. And so as we believe God today and as we put our confidence and our trust in our Heavenly Father today, I believe that not only will we understand that it is God's will for us to be healed, but those that are seeking healing will receive healing. Amen. Amen. Because God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. And had he not said it, and should he not make it good? Amen. So he just looked for people, he just looked for a few people who just believe him, just release their faith and just believe. Amen. It don't, it's not going to come just because you have a need. A lot of people have a need. They walk around, they, they still dying off every day because they have needs. Amen. But how many of you are going to release your faith and believe? Because God is a faith God and he moves by faith. He operates on the wings of faith. And when faith is released, God go to work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to release our faith today. We want to believe today. We know that our God is a good God. Is he? But, but you see, but he ain't never did nothing for me. Oh, yes, he has. He let you wake up, wake up this morning, didn't he? He did. That was good for you. If not, you'd have been going into La La Land. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> but thank God you woke up today. Amen. That's, that's, a, that's a good reason to praise him. Amen. Well, I want to pray with y'all, and then I'm going to sing you a song, and then we're going to have a message. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this evening. I thank you, Father, for tonight, the message that you have placed in my heart for tonight. And, Father, I believe that the Holy Ghost will lead me and guide me into all truth, and he will show me things to come. And I believe, Father, that, that the people have ears to hear and the hearts to receive. And I believe, Father, that, 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 that you will speak to each of us in the area where we need to hear from you mostly. Mm -hmm. And God, we will not turn a deaf ear, but we will hear, we will hear what the Spirit of God in our ear, what the Spirit of God is saying to us. And Father, we thank you in advance because we set our hearts at peace right now. We set our hearts at rest right now because we are trusting in you. We look to you with confidence. We look to you with we look to you with boldness. And we look to you in faith. And we believe in our hearts. And we believe that as we as we believe in our hearts and we confess with our mouth tonight that we will receive our healing. We believe that it shall come about even as you, we have spoken. Because the power is released in our words. And so we release our words of faith. And we declare tonight, we will receive our healing. We will receive our deliverance. We will walk out of here a changed person. And we believe that, Father. So we thank you for it now in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Y'all believe that with me today? Oh, hallelujah. I believe it with y'all. If y'all believe with me, then we all on the same page. Can I sing you a song now? I believe I want to sing you a song. It's one up in the corner up there. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. <clears throat> I hadn't sung in a long time, so my we don't have to play this by ear. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you, Father. We worship you. We praise you. Now this is not a copyright song by me. This is a song that I bought. Amen. I'm not doing it to make money with. I'm doing it to minister with. Glory to God. Just want y'all to know that. You're my joy. You're my peace. You're my comfort in time of need. You're my refuge. You're my rock. You're the one I depend on. You're the road to hope when my light goes dim. When the ways of doubt come crashing in. 
You're my anchor in the trouble storm, Almighty God. You're my joy, you're my peace. You're my comfort in time of need. You're my refuge, you're my rock. You're the one I depend on. You're the road to hope when my light goes dim. When the waves of doubt come crashing in, you're my anchor in the trouble storm, Almighty God. And you bore the cross, and you bear the scars. You are my bright and shining star. Gave me sight that I might see The kind of man that I should be You came and died to set me free Almighty God And you bore the cross Oh, and you bear the scars You are my bright and shining star Gave me sight that I might see The kind of man that I should be You came and died to set me free Almighty God You're my joy, you're my peace You're my comfort in time of need You're my refuge, you're my rock You're the one I depend on you're the road to hope when my light goes dim. When the waves of doubt come crashing in, you're my anchor in the trouble storm, Almighty God. You're my joy, you're my peace. You're my comfort in time of need. You're my refuge, you're my rock. You're the one I depend on. You're the road to hope when my light goes in. When the waves of doubt come crashing in. You're my anger in the trouble storm, Almighty God. Whoa. You're my joy, you're my peace. You're my comfort in time of need. You're my refuge, you're my rock. You're the one I depend on. You're the road to hope when my light goes dim, when the waves of doubt come crashing. You're my anchor in the trouble storm, Almighty God. You're my anchor in the trouble storm, Almighty God. Yeah, Jesus. Hallelujah. My anchor in the trouble storm. Hallelujah. We serve a good God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, there's a, another song I'd like to sing, but I'm not going to do it tonight. I might do it the next time. And that song is... Uh, Thank you. That's a, a blessed song to my heart. And I'm going to sing that to y'all one day. I hadn't sung that in a long time. I'm going to sing it not to y'all only, but I'm going to sing it to the Lord. Amen. I'm going to sing it to the Lord because it wasn't, if it wasn't for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Amen. We have come a long way, church. And we are standing when the people have given up on us. God is still able us to stand. And I believe that the time is coming that we're going to see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. 
The storms may rise and the winds may blow, but no destruction shall come nigh our dwelling. For the Lord has given his angels charge over us, and they keep us in all our ways. And in our pathway, there's what? There's life. No death, but life. Because he came that we may have what? Life and that more abundantly. Oh, y'all catching on now. Hallelujah. Amen. And though I walk through the valley of the what? The shadow of death, I will fear no evil. What? Evil. For thou art with me, Lord. Your word and your spirit, they comfort me. Thou have prepared a table. We're going to eat off that table tonight, folks. No, oh, we're going to eat off that table tonight that the Lord has prepared before us. We're going to eat some Mark, Luke, and John, and little Matthew. We're going to, might even eat some of the Old Testament, a little of the New Testament. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to feast tonight off of the Lord's table that he has set before us in the presence of our enemy. Glory to God. Woo! Hallelujah. I sense his presence begin to come in this place like a rushing mighty wind. Mm. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. You know, many people, many people, a lot of people don't understand that it is God's will for them to be here. Many believe that God sometimes heals. They believe that God will heal you sometime. But I want you to know that God will heal every time if you can believe and if you can release your faith. God is not a sometime God. That's not what he said in his word. That is not what he said in his word. He said in his word in the book of Isaiah chapter 53. Turn that with me. In the book of Isaiah chapter 53, this is what he said, folks. He didn't say, sometime I'll heal you. No, that's not what he said. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Are y'all are here tonight? Amen, amen, amen. You see, that's not what he said. He said that he bore our sickness. Look at Isaiah chapter 53, verse number 4. Are you there? Surely he had borne our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Verse number 5 says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. He didn't say you might be. He said you are healed. Amen. But no, but notice what he said in verse number one. He said, For who had believed our report? Amen. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? See, God revealing to you right now. His will. He's revealing to you right now His word. He's extending His arms to you right now. And all you got to do is believe. All you have to do is have faith in God. Mark chapter 11, verse number 22. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Have faith in God. See, God knows what it's going to take to get you to what you to get you where you need. From God, He know how to get you to the point to receive from God, but you got to be willing to take the journey. You got to be willing to walk. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. We walk by faith and not by sight. So we're not gonna we're not gonna allow what it looked like from a natural standpoint to interfere with what God is have us to. To put our trust in. But we're going to believe what the word says. Our trust is not in the arm of the flesh. But our trust is in the Lord our God. Hallelujah. So many believe that sometimes God wants to heal you. But I tell you, I tell you, I tell you something. 
a little bit, a little bit more personal because I believe that God wants you healed right now because when I was sick, when I was bound in pain, when I was laying out of my bed crying like a baby, I didn't have no money for no hospital bill, didn't have any insurance, amen, and, and I cried out to the Lord God. And he heard me and pitied my ever groan. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. And God, and, and God wants to touch you right now where you are. God wants to heal you right now where you are. God wants to heal your son. God wants to heal your daughter. God wants to heal your mama. God wants to heal your daddy. God wants to heal your grandchildren. Your great grandchildren. God wants to restore your relationship with Him. God sees you right where you are, and He wants to heal your brokenness. How many of you have brokenness in your heart that only God know about? Raise your hand. Uh, yeah, if, if everybody were honest, your every hand would be raised up. Amen. Even you that are with us by the internet, you've been hurt, you've been wounded, you've been bruised, and have led you to live a lifestyle that God is not pleased with. And God is giving you the opportunity right now to turn away from it. Because time is running out, and Jesus is coming back soon. The ways of sin is still death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You know, because of one man's sin, every man in the world had sin. And because one man... One man lived a life that 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 that, that, imp that implemented the life in the nature of God, and that gave man the, the same uh, uh, opportunity to live for God. Amen. The devil the devil caused Adam to sin in the Garden of Eden, and G and God gave the earth Jesus, and Jesus gave His life in the Garden of Gethsemane, and they took Him and they marched Him to Golgotha Hill, and He gave His life. So that you can not only be saved, but you can be healed. Because he bore your sicknesses. And he carried your diseases. And the Bible said, and by his stripes. What stripes? The stripes that they laid upon his back in, 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 in Pilate's courtyard. And he said, and by his stripes, you are healed. Glory to God. I was lying in my bed, sick as I don't know what, crying crying and just crying like a baby. And I just, God, I said, God, I need help. I need healing. My, I'm in so much pain, God, and I don't have no money. I don't have no insurance. I can't go to the doctor because they won't let me in. I said, God, I need help. And God said, get up and read your Bible. And I got up out of that bed and I ran to the door trying to see who was out there messing with me. I didn't see no one. And I went back, to, on my way back to bed, I said, I doubled back around, went to the window to peep out to make sure one nobody out there messed with me, and no one was there. So on my way back to my bed, I, I, instead of going back to bed, I got my ironing board. I didn't have a desk, but I had an ironing board. I take my ironing board, and I set it up, and I put my Bibles on the ironing board, and I, <clears throat> and I began to, and I set my chair down there, at the ironing board like a desk. And I began to read the Bible. I had set like three, four Bibles up there. The King James Version, the, the Amplified Bible, and the, and the Matthew Henry Concordians. Amen. And I think the Open Bible. Amen. I set them all up there so I can have different, I can read it from different avenues so I can get the true meaning of what God was saying to me. And I began to read the Word of God. Do you hear me? I began to read the Word of God. And I was still in a lot of pain. I was hurting so bad. No one could no one could could could, to, could could help me out of my situation because I lived alone at the time. No one I, I couldn't I couldn't ask my sister, my brother, my mother, amen, or my anyone to, to help me or to go to the store for me because I didn't have no money to give them to go to the store for me. I was broke, busted, and couldn't be trusted. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. I'm telling you, I was I was I was I was at the bottom. Amen. I was at the bottom and I was crying out to God. I was crying out to God. Amen. And all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, I began to read my Bible. And I made it to Mark chapter 16. Turn with me to Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. You that are with me on the internet, I'm telling you, it is God's will for you to be healed. You don't have to walk around sick. Your children don't have to walk around sick. You can minister to your children. The Bible says you shall know the truth. 
and the truth shall make you free. I'm telling you, I'm going to give you some truth tonight that's going to, that you can that you can be able to apply your own self. Amen. You can you can minister you can administer God's word on your own. Amen. With the leading of the Holy Ghost. And I'm gonna tell you something, because he's gonna he gonna work with you. When he see you applying what I'm sharing with you, when he when he see that you applying it, the angels is gonna go to work right then, right there on your behalf. Hallelujah. Now, while we are ministering now, if you have any prayer requests, you need to let us know your prayer requests. Amen. You need to you need to let us know your prayer requests. You need to because I'm telling you, I'm believing God. Tonight is your turnaround night. Tonight is your breakthrough night. Tonight is the night of your miracle. Your healing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And so right now, in the, in the what I tell you to go, Mark chapter 16. Yeah, let's go to Mark chapter 16. It's right out the book of Matthew. In case some of you Bible scholars don't know where you're going. <laughs> oh, glory to God. <clears throat> now notice what it says right here in the book of Matthew. Book of Mark. In the book of Mark. Oh, you remember, huh? I'm so glad somebody's paying attention. <laughs> in the book of Mark chapter 16, look at verse number 15. Because he was talking to me. The Lord was talking to me. He was, he was, he was revealing to me the will of God. He was revealing to me God's plan, God's purpose for my life as a born again child of God. See, God not only sent his son to die for my salvation, but he sent his son to die for my healing. He took those stripes upon his back. Amen. And, 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 and they put that, that, that purple robe on him. And then they put that crown of thorns upon his head. And they... And they, and, and they brought him back to, to the people and, and they said, crucify him. Crucify him. And he said, shall I crucify your king? We don't have no king but Caesar, they said. This man claimed that he is the son of God and by this he ought to be put to death. Crucify him. Oh, they, they had their case on him. They had their case established against him. Amen. But none of the things that they were saying about him was true. Oh, hallelujah. So he's saying right here in the book of Mark chapter 16 because, see, I, I was uh, very, very out of it. I was crying. I was hurting. And I, I, none of y'all ever cried when you were sick. But I did because I was in a lot of pain. You cried before? Oh, my God. I'm telling you, pain will make you share some crocodile tears. <laughs> Alligator tears or something. Amen. Pain will cause you to holler sometimes. Oh, God, where are you? And he's never gone nowhere. He's always there. But you got, you got, to, but you got to understand that. And he's here right here today. And he's right where you are with me by the internet. He's right where you are today. Tonight, it can be your breakthrough, your miracle night. Amen. God can heal you of your past. God can restore you, your health. God can heal your broken heart. Amen. That caused you to turn astray. Amen. That, re, that, that, that spirit of rejection don't have no power over you no more than you allow it to. Oh, hallelujah. That spirit of, of fornication that, that's resting upon your life can be broken just like that. That spirit of pornography that's on your life can be broken just like that. That spirit of perversion can be broken just like that. Oh, for this is the purpose that the Son of God was manifest to destroy the works of the devil. Not to play games with him, but to destroy. Glory to God. In Mark chapter 16, verse number 15, and it reads, And he said unto them, He's talking to you and me, Go ye into, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. See, you not just one that's been called out of darkness. But he has not only called you out of darkness, but he's sending you back into the dark regions as a light. Glory to God. Amen. In verse number six, he said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Verse number 17, And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, shall they cast out devils. 
Amen. See, God has given you everything that you need to accomplish his task. He's telling you, if you believe, you can cast the devil out. You don't have to put up with the devil's mess. You can cast the devil out. When the devil, when you go to talk to a person and that person's going to raise up his head against you, that devil going to rise up in, in that person coming against you, you, you just look at that devil right between that. Don't get scared. Look at him right between that as the devil. In the name of Jesus, I bind you right now. You have no more authority because you have come against me. And I am a child of the Most High God. You have taken a stand against me. I take a stand against you. Come out. In Jesus' name. Whoa, friend. All of a sudden, that devil going to go to trembling. Oh, he's commanding me. Oh, and I got to obey him because he's a child of God. You see, you got to understand that you have authority. You have power that the devil don't have. And he has to obey you when you operate in the realm of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. So he said right here in verse number 17, And these signs shall follow them that believe. He's telling you what's going to follow you. Those that believe. Amen. In the, he said, In the name of Jesus, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any of the other things, they shall not hurt them. I like this part right here, folks. This is the most this is the most important part right here. They shall do what? Lay hands on the sick. Who going to lay hands on the sick? Those that believe these signs that are following you. Them that believe that these signs are following you, that shall lay hands on who? On the sick. And what he said about that? And they shall recover. And they shall recover. Amen. Look at verse number 20. Verse number 20. And they went and, and, and they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them. How many words did he confirm? He confirmed the word with signs following. He confirmed that what? The words. The words of who? The words of the disciples that he sent out. Remember, remember what he said in verse number 15? And he and he and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Amen. So he's talking to you and me. He's talking to us today. Amen. The word of God is still is still valid, uh, valid today, and it still and it still has not and has not lost its power. It is still just as potent as it was when the day was broke. And all you gotta do is believe it. All you gotta do is believe it and act on it. Amen. Believe it and act on it because God is not a man that He should lie. Nor a son of man that he should repent. And what God said, God is able to make it good. Hallelujah. Today is your breakthrough day. Tonight is your healing night. Tonight is your miracle night. Hallelujah. When I read this and that word started, it started jumping off the page at me. And I read it again. And it jumped off the page at me. And I read it again. Every time it jumped off the page, I read it over and over and over and over. I don't know how many times I read it. I don't know how many times I read it, but eventually, as I read so much, as I was reading so much, the Word of God began to begin to uh, it began to speak to my heart because I have read it over and over and over and over and over and over again. These few verses that I just read to you uh, from Luke chapter, from Mark chapter chapter sixteen, verse number fifteen through verse number eighteen, and then when I understood what else, that's when I went on down to verse number twenty. And I said, oh, my God, there it is right there. Oh, see, that, 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 just, that just put the icing on the cake. When I saw verse number 20 and read it, that just put the icing on the cake. Because, you see, he said, these signs shall follow them that believe. And then he showed me that he was not only sending us out to do the work, but he was walking with us, working with us, confirming the word that he sent us out with. In other words, he didn't expect us to accomplish the thing in our own abilities, and our own strength. He was working with us. He's working with you to confirm the word with signs following. How many of you believe God wants to do a work in your heart today? You see, you don't understand. But you don't, what do you mean I don't understand? You don't understand how, what God delivered me from. You don't understand the things that God has set me free from. You don't understand the, the lifestyle that I used to live. Amen. And the devil will do anything he can to pull you back in that old lifestyle that you used to live. Amen. Why? Because he wants you to believe that there's no hope for you. 
And there's no way out of your out of your circumstances, your situation, your condition. He wants you to think that you are a mess, and that there's no and there's no way of cleaning it up. <laughs> you are not a mess, and you can't be cleaned up by the washing of the word. Hallelujah. The word has a, a, a detergent in it that when you uh, believe it, when you hear it, when you believe it and receive it in your heart, it began to, just like an agitator in the washing machine, shuck up, shuck up, It began to knock all that, 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 it began to knock all those burdens, all those, all that guilt, all that shame. He began to break all of that, uh, that, con that, that mind control. It began to break all of that stuff off you. The next thing you know, you, the people that, that had, had you in bondage, the people that that, that, that that thought they could use you as a as a play toy, amen. The people that thought that they could uh, uh, take advantage of you, of your of your broken your brokenness, and this and, and exploit you throughout the the, the city and community, amen. Now they see you walking around with a smile on your face. They said, "Hmm, what did happen to what did happen to her? What did happen to him?" They smiling. You see, you, then, they, then, then they begin to see, they begin to understand. They don't have no more control over you. The powers that they had over you, that guilt trip that they always brought upon you to make you look at your past, all of a sudden, it don't have no power over you no more. The rejection that you all that you walk around in sobbing and moaning and groaning. Moaning and crying and 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 and, and, and loss of self-esteem, low self-esteem, all of a sudden your esteem has been highly exalted because of the word. And when you had no hope, my God has been, he has touched your heart. He's healed you of your deep wounds, and all of a sudden you begin to have hope again. You begin to believe again. You begin to love again. The God kind of love. Not the world kind of love, but the God kind of love. Because the world think that because you have a lust for something, you think that is love. That's not love. That lust will carry you to the pits of hell. You keep playing with it. Amen. We want to be free. How many want to be free? We all want to be free. Amen. And so we, and he that the son set free is free indeed. Amen. So God began to, I began to read those words over and over and over in the book of Mark, chapter 16. Read them over and over and over. Then the word began to minister to my heart. I began to, I began to, uh, you know, you, you ever read the word of God and you got chills coming all over you, little chill bumps. You begin to read the word of God and it's just like all of a sudden, the chills bumped all coming up on you. Then all of a sudden, in your mind, you understand what the word's saying. Not just, and not, you, 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 you already, you, you see, you know in your heart before you know in your mind. But see, now <clears throat> it has gone beyond, it has, it, has, it has surfaced from my heart. Now it's in my mind, and all of a sudden, the peace that surpasses all understanding is beginning to rest upon me, and, I, and I'm, 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 I'm seeing truth now. I'm seeing truth. And now that truth is doing what? That truth is healing me. Because when truth is revealed, power is released. When truth is revealed, power is released. I begin to understand what God was saying. He said, he, what was he saying in the word? That these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they cast out devils? They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpent. And if they drink any of the other things, they shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. All of a sudden, I begin to understand what God was saying. And as I began to understand what God was saying, truth began to be revealed to my heart. And when truth was revealed to my heart, my whole life began to just, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm beginning to be just like, you know when you turn the light on? <laughs> oh, it just, it just light up everything. Look at this. See right here? Look at here. See, the light just went off of here. The light just went off of here. Amen. Now, now, I, I'm walking in that, in that, see, there's no light. So I'm walking in what? I'm walking in darkness because there's no light. Amen. But look, look, when I turn the light back on. Hallelujah. When I turn, oh, that darkness, that darkness flees. Amen. That's what happens when the word, when the word begins to penetrate your heart. It illuminates your inward parts. 
And once, it's, once it illuminates your inner parts, that word become alive. And once that word, remember what he said in John chapter 1, verse number, four, verse number 14? And the word, what? Became flesh. In other words, the word came alive. The word became flesh and dwelled among us. Once the word of God come alive, it began to produce the life and the nature of Almighty God. It began to produce life. Amen. Remember what he said in the book of Proverbs, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, and verse number 20. He said, My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are what? Life. He's talking about his word. He said, My words are life to those that find them. And help to all their flesh. In other words, God said, you want to be healed? Then attend to my words. You want, you want to be set free? Then pay attention to what I'm saying to you. You want what I've got for you? Then release your faith and receive it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I don't know about you, but I believe that God wants to do a new thing in your life. God wants to do a new thing in your heart. God wants to bring you to a place of inner peace. Yes. So many people are disturbed right now. And, you know, I'm, I, I, I said it this morning, I'm going to say it again. I'm talking to the people on the internet, and they said, what are you looking for here? What do you want here? I said, I want to see if I can win you over to Christ. <laughs> I, want to see if I, can, I, I want to see if I can win you over to Christ. Right. Amen. And, you know, they, then they stop talking, then they stop trying to talk to me. They don't want to talk to me no more. Amen. You know why? Because instead of me playing their game, I'm gonna bring them on my side of the, on my side of the, the game. I don't lose. Because <laughs> if they keep if they keep talking to me, I'm gonna win them over. And the Lord is gonna have another another trophy entering into the kingdom. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the devil is gonna walk around mad because. Don't you listen to that preacher. <laughs> that preacher, gonna, he, uh, he's going to hook wing you. <laughs> no, I'm not going to hook wing you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stand on the promises of God. And if you keep this, I'm gonna, then you're going to be set free. You're going to be set free. Amen. See, God, God, God wants you to mingle. But he wants you to mingle in the God kind of what? Way. Way. Not only the way, but love. Because love don't judge. Love covers a multitude of sin. Love don't point finger. You live this type of lifestyle and you know how much you're going to hell. No, don't, don't talk to them like that. God wants to heal them. God wants to deliver them. God wants to set them free. Don't tell them they're going to hell. Tell them God love them. Tell them God forgive them. Tell them that Jesus they gave his life for them. Hallelujah. Because he did. And to tell them anything else, you're judging. And if you judge them, be careful. You might be judged yourself. Hallelujah. God wants us to love them. He wants to love them right where they are. Because if we can't love them right where they are, how we can expect them to want to come where we are? Amen. We have to love them right where they are. Why? Because they're hurting. They're in so much pain. They have lost so much hope. Their self-esteem has been drained by the enemy. Yes. They've been lied to so many times. And they don't know which way to turn. And God has given you a word of encouragement for them. They are hurting. They are sick. They've been rejected. And they don't know where else to turn to. So they turn to what? To the flesh. They turn to the flesh. And God don't want to turn them away. 
He's reaching out to them. He wants to restore them. He wants them to know that you are the purpose that I sent my son to die for. You are the one that he shed his blood for. You are the one that he hung on the cross for. He not only hung on the cross for your salvation, but he hung on the cross for your healing. He hung on the cross for your deliverance. He hung on the cross because of his love for you. His unconditional love. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When we come to God, we're not better than anyone else. So don't think that you are. You was a wretched, undone, heathen, just like they were. Or maybe they are. So you can't look upon them and judge them. You got to look on them and you got to say, I used to be like that. Forgive me for looking up at you with the eyes of judgment, with a just men of spirit. I, I repent for that. Father, let your love begin to flow through me so that I can minister healing to their hearts. They've been hurt. They've been wounded. They've been bruised. And the devil is beating up on them, taking advantage of them, molesting them, taking them and turning them out into the world. Remember what he said? These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they do what? Cast out what? The devil. Devils. The devil is the one that is controlling them, and you have been given the power to deliver them. And so you can't judge them. The healing power don't work when you judge. The healing power works when you love. sense because God wants to speak to a certain group of people some may be here but I'm speaking to those that God has brought to us online because you see people have been judged all their lives even you've been judged I've been judged I forgive them. I forgave them. And I forgive them now. You know why? Because they can't put me in heaven or hell. And I choose to cast out every word that exalted itself over me against the will of God for my life. I don't have to allow it to continue. And you don't have to allow it to continue. Greater is he that is in you or in me than he that is in the world. And if God is on our side, folks, what do we have to be afraid of? God's healing power don't work in fear. God's healing power don't work in unbelief. God's healing power works in faith. That you believe in your heart. And confess with your mouth. You remember what he said in Mark chapter 11, verse number 23? Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Notice how many times he talk about saying something in that verse. Let, let's look at it again. Verily, verily, I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Four times he talked about saying in one verse. 
That showed me that God expect us to say what we want. We don't release power by thinking. We release the power of God by saying. The authority that God has given you is not in how you can think about something. It's how you can speak towards something. That's why he says in verse number 24, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray that says something, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Do you believe in God for healing? You believe in God for your deliverance? You believe in God to set you free from the bondage that you've been experiencing all your life? Then don't st then stop agreeing with what's going on in your life. That's why you got what you're having because that's all you ever talk about. You have the power of life and death. You speak your destiny because what you say will come to pass. That's why I start saying, God, I'm healed. I, I received my healing. The doctor told me two years ago, he said, he said, he said, I'm sorry, I got some good news and I got some bad news. He said, the good news is that you're still alive. I said, well, praise God. He said, the bad news is that you got cancer. He told me that two years ago. And I said, whoa. <laughs> I couldn't say nothing no more. I couldn't, I couldn't say praise God because of that. Amen. Because that word it pierced me. That word just took that joy right out of me and it pierced my heart. In other words, those words was not sent by God. They were sent by the enemy. And, and, it's the, and, and, and see, I agreed when he said at first he said, the good news is that you're alive. I agree with that. But then he tried to hit me with, he tried to hit me with a low blow. I said, what's the bad news? He said, the bad news is that you got cancer. I, I, I said, well, I, didn't, I couldn't agree to that. Amen. And I listened to everything. I listened. I, I just, from that point, I, I became quiet. All the time I'm doing is just nod my head. One saying nothing else, just nod my head. One saying nothing else, just nod my head. Amen. When he got done, I said, well, thank you, sir. And I walked outside. I looked up in him. I said, Doctor, I said, God, that doctor just lied on me. <laughs> I walked outside and I looked up in him. I said, God, that doctor just lied on me. He said, What you mean? He said, I have cancer. And I said, That's not what your word said. Your word says in Psalm 107, verse 20, you said that you sent your word and healed them and delivered them from that destruction. Well, God, I'm one of them that you sent your word to. And I refuse to accept what that word came to me today. I don't receive that word that I have cancer. I don't receive that word. And, and, and I walked on by my business. I never told no one about what I was going through. Not even my wife. Didn't tell her. Didn't tell my daughter. Didn't tell no one what I was going through. Didn't tell my church what I was going through. Amen. And, 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 and I just went on and I just went on and just served God. And I went on a fast. Matter of fact, we're going on a fast on the 24th of this week, of this month. We're going on a seven-day fast, starting on the 24th. We're going to fast all the way to the 30th, or the last day of the month. That's seven days, starting on the 24th, Wednesday, Thursday. Those two days we'll fast and anyway, fast and praying anyway. Then Friday, but the Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday. Thursday is the 24th. Friday is the 25th. So we're going to, and then we're going to be fasting. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I think it's seven days. Amen. Folks, this is important. The election is coming up. We got to be praying. We got we to gotta pray. Don't be shaking your head. Going back to the I am. I'm going back to the testimony, but you got to hear what I'm saying right now, too. Because... Otherwise, I just say it like this. <laughs> Amen. But we got to pray. We got to pray. We got to pray. Amen. And 
Oh, glory to God. My first hour is gone. I got one more hour, right? <laughs> <laughs> my first hour just my first hour just went away. Amen. But I still got ten, I still got ten minutes because she took up ten minutes. <laughs> I still I still got ten minutes. So now I go I go back to my I I, 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 went, I walked outside after the doctor them, them said it to me. I walked outside and the doctor and and uh and uh and I said God that doctor just lied on me. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. I believe that I'm going to let this play because that person might need healing. Amen. Can y'all just excuse me for a second while I go live on this one again? Hallelujah. Huh? Amen. Amen. Maybe they'll come back. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But anyway, they 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 they, they probably need what I'm saying, but they've been with me the whole service, and I don't want to leave them stranded right now, because you see, there's an anointing right now starting to fall in this place. The atmosphere is beginning to change right now. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. That anointing is beginning to rest in this place right now for healing. Amen. And as the anointing begins to rest in this place for healing, that means it's starting to rest upon those that are with us by the internet. That same anointing that is resting upon us here is starting to rest upon them that are with us by the internet. Amen. God's healing power right now is being released. His healing power right now is being released. Amen. God sees you right where you are. In the name of Jesus, he sees you right where you are. That anointing right now is starting to rest upon you. Amen. It's just like a bouquet of roses. God is saying how much he loves you. He's sending you a bouquet of roses. Letting you know how much he loves you. Amen. And that he desires to touch you. He desires to heal you. He desires to deliver you. He desires to set you free. Tonight is your breakthrough night. Tonight is your healing night. Tonight God is saying to you, I am with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you by the right hand of my righteousness. You're coming into a you're coming into a place right now. What oh Shela Labakaya. There, there comes just another wave of it right now. Another wave of the Holy Ghost just coming in. Just coming in. Just coming in. And it's coming in upon you, dealt with this by the internet, wherever you are right now, in Jesus' name. Father, I release that anointing right now. I release that anointing right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. That healing anointing, God, you said freely as I receive it, freely give it. Father, I'm giving it to those that release their faith right now. I'm giving it to those that release their faith right now, in the name of Jesus. Believe that you receive it. There it is right now, in Jesus' name. There it is right now, in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, when, 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 God, when God revealed that, that word to me that he wanted me healed, that he wanted to heal me, he had me to read that scripture over and over and over again. And then wasn't no the one there that I could call to, to have someone to lay hands on me or nothing like that. And so I, as I read the scripture, as I read the scripture, I saw what he said. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. And I know, at, I know at that point that he was not talking to someone outside of who was in my house. He was only talking to the one that was in my house. And it was only me. Amen. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. But I was, I am a believer. So he was talking to me. He wasn't talking to no one else. He was talking to me. And when, and when you, when you can believe that, my God, you, re, you, you can release the, the power of God just by simply believing that. Amen. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, in my name. And I start, and I, and I said, oh God, yeah. And then I start seeing what he was saying. What do we have to believe in his name? Then he said. You shall cast out devils. You shall speak with new tongues. You shall take up serpents. You shall drink any of their things. You shall not, they shall not hurt you. You shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And I said, God, in the name of Jesus, I, I come against that devil. I come against that, that devil that's trying to hurt me, that spirit of infirmity. I rebuke it off me right now in the name of Jesus. I begin to exercise authority over that spirit of infirmity. I begin to break his power off of me in the name of Jesus. And then 
how all of a sudden I began to I began to say, Father, you said these signs are following their belief. You said the believers shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And I said, God, I lay my body. I said, God, I have two hands and my body is sick. You said the believer shall lay hands on the body. You said the believer shall lay hands on, on the sick and they shall recover. And I said, Lord, I got two hands. My body is sick. And I, I said, God, according to your word, I can lay hands on the sick and, and, they sh and I shall recover. And I said, here go two hands. I'm just going to take you for your word. And I lay my hand on my body. And I lay my hand on my body. I said, in the name of Jesus' body, be healed in Jesus' name. I command you to be healed now in Jesus' name. And all of a sudden, the pain just, just went out of my body. Just went straight out of my body. And I started looking for it. I said, oh, whoa, what happened? Where did it go? I started looking for it. I couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. It was gone. It was gone. Why? How did it go? I believe the word of God. I believe what God said. And I acted on what God said. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. Amen. In my name shall they do what? Cast out devils. I come against the devil that was afflicting me with that sickness. Because it came from my, it came, it came down from my father. Amen. It came down from, how did you mean it came down? My father made the stuff that, it, that, that I took and I consumed that, came, that made me sick. What was that? The moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> the white lightning, glory to God. Amen. And I drank so much of it, and my stomach got ate up by that stuff. Amen. And so, and so from that point on, I was in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. A lot of pain. Every day, pain. Up preaching in pain. And I said, Oh God, you gotta do something about this. I said, I need help. I was laying in my bed crying. And, and God said, get up and read your Bible. And I got up and started reading my Bible. And the word of God changed my life, folks. The word of God changed my life forever. And I'm still preaching it today. You know why I'm preaching it today? Because I believe the word is true. And God wants you to come to that same conclusion that the word is true. Hallelujah. These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. You should be able to lay hands on your own body, on your own children, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. You need to believe this because he's talking to you. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. You should look, be able to look up into heaven and say, Father, I am a believer. And you said, these signs shall follow them that believe. God, I'm a believer. And my child is hurting. My child is sick. My daughter is sick. My wife is sick. My, my, my child is, is hurting. And, and you need to be able to look to the Lord and say, God, my child is, is, is out of it. And she needs help. And I don't have money to go to the doctor. Even, and, and Father, even though I might have money to go to the doctor, but it's so far away, and I don't know if she can make it between now and then. That traffic. God, help me. Then all of a sudden, the Spirit of God rises up within you because your daughter, your son, your husband, your wife, your sister, your brother, they need what you have on the inside of you. And they can't wait until they get to the hospital. They need it now. They need it now. So you have to look up into heaven. Father, you said in your word, Mark chapter 16, verse number 17, you said these signs shall follow them that believe. And God, I'm a believer. I am a believer. And and, 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 and what's that? And then you begin to look at the sign. He said, you shall cast out devils. You shall speak a new tongue. You shall take up serpent. You shall, if you drink any of their things, shall not hurt you. You shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. You begin to look at all the criteria of those signs that are going to follow the believer. You begin to apply from the beginning. You don't skip them. You go to the beginning. First, you got to do what? You got to attack that evil spirit that is controlling, that evil spirit that is, that is, that is, that is bringing that sickness upon you. You got to speak to it. And you got to mean business when you're speaking to it. You can't be like the sons of Stephen. I cast out that spirit by the name of that Jesus that Paul preached. I, and the devil going to look at you and say, Jesus, I know, and Paul, I know, but who are you? <laughs> Amen. So you got to you got to you got to understand that you got to understand that God is looking at your heart, what you believe, what you what you have faith to receive. Amen. And I'm right, I'm right now. I'm, I'm I got to tell you this. I got to tell you this because you see, that spirit of rejection have hurt you long enough. It has hurt you long enough. And it has caused you so much pain. Lay your hand on your body right now. 
wherever you are, the spirit of rejection right now is about to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I speak to that spirit of rejection. You said these signs shall follow them that believe. Hallelujah. Now let everybody say, I am a believer. Devil, in the name of Jesus, you spirit of rejection, I command you, leave me now in the name of Jesus. You have no power over me. I resist you now. I submit to God. I resist you, devil. Now go. Go. In Jesus' name. The spirit of rejection just took flight. The spirit of rejection just took flight. He has no more power over you. He has no power over you. He that the Son set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Some of you just felt a warmth come over your head. There's a warmth, there's a warmth just come over you. Because the devil had to let go of your mind. He had to let go of your mindset. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, let's come against that spirit of infirmity. Lay your hand back on your body again. In the name of Jesus, say it. In the name of Jesus, I speak to that spirit of infirmity. I speak to that spirit of sickness. In the name of Jesus, I command you to leave my body. Go now in Jesus' name. Father, I release your healing power. You said, these signs shall follow them that believe. In your name. They shall lay hands on the sick. They shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. Today, I lay my hand on my body. Because I am a believer. And my body was sick. And today, I choose to release that sickness from its assignment concerning me. My health is returning. I'm walking in divine health and healing. Because healing is the children's bread. I receive my healing right now in Jesus' name. Devil, go from me. Leave my body. I receive my healing right now in Jesus' name. Now praise God and thank Him for your healing. Thank Him for your healing. He's your healer. Father, we worship you. We praise you. We thank you for your healing touch. We thank you for your healing anointing that has been released in our bodies. We receive our healing now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Those that deal with lust and, per, per, and, and for pornography and, and, and unclean spirits. Amen. I'm talking to you now. I'm talking to you now. In the name of Jesus. He that the Son set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Oh, Father. In the name of Jesus. God, you said that what we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, say this with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind in earth the spirit of lust, the spirit of perversion, the spirit of pornography. I bind it. I loose it from its assignment concerning me. In the name of Jesus, you said that the mind of Christ is in me. I have the mind of Christ. And the wisdom of God is formed within me. Tonight, I choose that my mind be free from thinking evil thoughts. From thinking bad thoughts. From thinking. From thinking. Perversion thoughts. Lustful thoughts. I cast them down now. 
I cast them down now. I trample them under the bottom of my foot that they will never rise up against me again. In the name of Jesus, I am free. And he that the son set free is free indeed. I'm free from pornography. I'm free from, per, uh, from perversion. I'm free from lust. And I bring every thought. Come on, say it. I bring every thought into obedience to the will of God. I cast down every imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the will of God for my life. I'm free. I'm free. And he that the Son set free is free indeed. I'm in bondage no more. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's just like a, a spaceship just, just came and hovered over you and just lifted that, that spirit up right above you, and now you're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> you're free. What can I say? You're free. Those that will receive it are free. Glory to God. Glory to God. My, my, I, 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 I'm over time now, but I had to do this tonight. I had to do this tonight. And I might do it again next Sunday night too. Amen. I love you guys so much that God wants you free. God wants all of us free. He wants each and every one of us free. Glory to God. And the only way we're going to be set free is to preach the word on it. You won't get free just by talking about it. You got to give the word on it. The word is the power to deliver you. Hallelujah. The word has the power to set you free. Mm. Thank you, Lord. And we're free. Thank you for it, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I rebuke that backsliding spirit. I rebuke it by the authority of the one who has called us out of darkness, the Lord Jesus Christ. I stand my ground. I rebuke that backsliding spirit in the name of Jesus. I loose you from your assignment from the people under the sound of my voice. I release the spirit of faith and God, I release the spirit of love and contentment. For you came not to condemn the world, but that the world through you might be saved. For you sent your son not to the world to condemn the world, Lord, but the world might be saved. So, Father, we believe, and therefore we receive our deliverance tonight, our healing tonight. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you. We praise you for it, Father. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Ah, my God, I, I thank God. I thank God that you, that, that, that God is, is, is healed. Amen. I, oh, you, you're healed, huh? I knew you was coming back, and I knew God had a, a plan for you. God had a purpose for you. This is the beginning of your breakthrough. This is the beginning of your breakthrough. This person online said, I am healed. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Father, I pray right now, and I and I declare that not only is this person healed, Father, but this person is delivered. This person's heart has been set free. This person's heart has been set free from a past. The past has no power over them no more. The past has no power over this person no more. For he that the Son set free is free indeed. Free indeed. Now you walk free of your past. And don't let your past bother you no more. God is about to give you a brand new beginning. Will you receive it today? Will you receive it today? God has given you a brand new beginning. And it's yours now. It's yours now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 
That's why I had to turn that one back on. I knew God was doing something. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I love you guys. And God love you. And he wants to see us all set free. He wants to see each and every one of us set free. Folks, we, we are coming to a place where we, if we're not free, we're going to fall deeper and deeper away from Christ. Amen. So let's fall in love with him once again like never before. Let's fall in love with him like never before. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, shout out of Oh, the Yashiki that of Basaya. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. That's, I gotta stop. I feel so much. I feel something in this place tonight. Amen. Amen. Let's go ahead and take our evening offering. Amen. If God bless your heart, go ahead on and sow your seed tonight. Sow your seed tonight. My website is LarryBurgensMinistries.com. One word. LarryBurgensMinistries.com. And plant your seed there. Amen. If God touched you, where God's of where you are, what part of the country you're from, if God touched you, go to my website, LarryBurgensMinistries.com, and plant a seed. It doesn't matter how big or how little. Amen. You want to plant a small seed? Plant a small seed. $5, $10, amen. You want to plant a big seed? Plant a big seed, $1,000, $150,000, whatever that God put on your heart, amen. But plant a seed, plant a seed, amen. Let God know that you mean business. Let God know that, that, you, that you received everything that he had promised you. Don't let the devil steal what God has done from you because of a spirit of stinginess. Plant that seed. And let God continue to work in your life. Amen. Father, we bless your name. We glorify your name for what you're doing in the hearts and in the life of your people. Amen. And, and, and Father, I thank you that your word will not return void. But it will accomplish that which pleases you in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you. I bless you. I bless you. Hallelujah. Did, ever, did you take up the offering yet? Amen. Now, those that don't have nothing to give, don't, don't, don't be, don't be, don't, don't let it bother you because you don't have nothing to give. We're gonna believe God that you're gonna have more than enough. We're gonna believe God that you're gonna have more than enough. Amen. The next time around, and then I'm gonna believe God that as you continue to give what you can, I'm gonna believe God that God is gonna start bringing increase, increase, increase. Amen. Into your fact, into your finances. Amen. That's how he did. That's what he did for us. That's what he did for a few more people that that, that uh, support this ministry. And he want to do the same thing for you. He want to bring you to a place of increase. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those that are sowing that seed tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, whether it's little or big, whether it be a. a Long, long this seed is coming from their heart, God, because you know the heart of every man and woman that is in this place and those that are with us by the internet. And you know the need that is represented in their lives. And God, you're not gonna, you're not gonna uh, allow their need to go unmet, because you are Jehovah Jireh, the Lord God that provided. You are El. Shout out the all sufficient one, and that you meet all of our need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And Father, I thank you that you're going to meet their needs, you're going to move supernaturally, and God, you're going to bring them to a place of inner peace. You're going to meet their needs. I declare, I declare that their needs is met now. I call supernatural finances into their lives, into their hands. I call it in from the north, south, east, and west. And God, let the angels go now and go to work on their behalf. In Jesus' name. They are not lack. They are not having any needs. Every need is met. Every need is met. I declare it and decree it now in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you for it. 
I praise you for it. Glory to God. We love you, God. And God do too. Amen. Hallelujah. If you never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, right now we're going to give you that opportunity. If you never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, right now, this is your opportunity to get your life right with God. This is your opportunity right now to get your life with, right with God. Amen. God, we had a God had, God has healed us of our uh, damaged emotions tonight. God has healed us from a lot of things tonight. He set us free from a lot of errors tonight. And this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. Amen. Because I'm I'm going back into my I'm going back into my uh, oh my God. I'm going back into my deliverance part of ministry. I'm going to start back preaching deliverance. Next year going to be a time of deliverance for all of you. And we're going to get you to that point working from this point forward. Amen. We're going to get you ready. God going to deliver you. You ready for it this year? You just got yours. I'm talking to I'm talking to going forward. I'm talking about going forward. Amen. Because you're in the right place. Amen. If you never made Jesus Christ love your life, I'm going to give you that opportunity right now. Amen. I'm going to give you that opportunity right now. God wants to do exceedingly abundant above anything you can ask, think, or imagine in your heart. If you believe that God is dealing with your heart tonight, then say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he died for my sin. I confess my sin and I'm asking you to forgive me. Come into my heart. Create in me a right spirit and renew in me a clean heart. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God and you died for my sin. I received that. I received what you did for me. Today, I accept it as mine. I'm free. I'm healed. I'm delivered. I'm free. Thank you, Father, for healing me. In Jesus' name, amen. Your salvation is not just salvation. God healed you at the same time you accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Now you can ready to start a brand new life like you never walked before because Christ, Jesus, is now made your heart his living room. And he's living his life in you right now. And Father, I thank you for that. Give them an experience that they will never forget how much you love them. I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. If anyone wants me to pray for them, I'll pray for you right now. Any of you here want me to pray for you, I'll pray for you right now. That's okay. Let's pray for these by the internet. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for those that are with us by the internet. We release the anointing upon them to lift burdens and destroy yokes. We declare in the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again after listening to this message. Y'all need to share this message. Let everyone uh, hear this message that you love, that you, that you want God to touch. Because tonight is their breakthrough night, just like it's yours. We love you. God bless you. Don't forget to join us again on this coming Tuesday night as we come again and share with you the word of God. We love you. Until then, God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh, Thank you, Lord.